on July the 18th, 2017. This is a city council special call for meeting. Um, and I'm calling the meeting to order. Uh, the time uh, that I began is uh, 6.33. Um, so the meeting is called to order. We're going to proceed with uh, public hearing. We have only one public hearing on the agenda. Um, and uh, that is uh, item number two then. Conduct a public hearing to consider testimony regarding a request by the owner slash agent of a 45.63 acre property being described as part of the James McKinney survey, abstract number 770, Grayson County, Texas and being a part of the Graywood Heights, in addition to the Grayson County, Texas, as recorded in volume seven, page 87, flat records, Grayson County, Texas, and being a part of the Graywood Heights, section two, to the city of Van Alstine, uh, Grayson County, Texas, as recorded in volume eight, page 70, of said flat records, and being part of the tract of land described in a deed to Caratex LP, Levens recorded um, uh, in County Clerk file number 2010-21778, real property records, Grayson County, Texas, generally located, and this is the part that you can decipher, um, generally located south of Spence Road, east of Sanford Circle, west of Graywood Drive, and north of Blassingame Avenue to change the current zoning of single family residential district um, dash one or SF1 in parentheses, two family or TF in parentheses, multifamily or MF in parentheses, and upon an annexation, agriculture or agricultural or AG in parentheses to planned development PD in parentheses zoning, having a single family 60 uh, uh, in parentheses, SF60, base regulations with reduced lot and uh, setback requirements. And I believe Mr. French is here to speak to this. Yes, sir. Uh, Mayor and Council, uh, my name is Bruce French. I'm Vice President of Land for History Maker Homes in Great Line, Texas. Uh, here tonight uh, with a request, we'd like to proceed, ask Council to proceed with the annexation of approximately 16.5 acre parcel into the city limits of uh, Van Alstine. The further uh, table for a future meeting, the, uh, the rezoning and to the PD. And what we'd like to do is come back through the planning and zoning first with a plumbing plan and a rezoning request you know, some things in the future day. Now this was a request that, that initially because of the lot size, planning and zoning um, uh, refused or denied. However, you guys have been in negotiations, I understand, about the lot size since. Correct. Okay. And uh, uh, hopefully we're, we're getting close to the middle. We have been with a couple of PNC members, and we believe we've come up with a compromise that is uh, a for both partners. All right. And now uh, I will be proceeding with, uh, for consideration, the next item, which is the uh, annexation of the 16.27, which, the, the, which is pretty much the north west corner of this of this 45 acres um, and but what we are going to uh to postpone item number four for an indefinite day um, so that you can continue negotiating with planning and zoning if that makes sense all right thank you all right thank you. yes am i correct in that this has now been named that it will be single family owned that's what they're the working on. The lot sizes were supposed to be the same as the surrounding area. Um, no, I, I think the, the direction we're trying to go is, is single family residences. Um, and, and, uh, but there was, a, uh, there was a, an issue um, that, that the, um, the lots that the, the eastern portion, or, or the, the northeastern portion of the planned development was backing up to, uh, to houses <coughs> That had larger lots, and so there was there was an issue there that that might be valued those that are already there, and so that's where the negotiations are, is making those lots uh, uh, comparable. Um, but uh, out to the west, I guess the general notion is to go ahead and make the lots smaller and, and more like what you want to develop. And I don't know how many houses. I guess you haven't figured out yet how many homes. It was around. It was more than 200. 
Yeah, after we factor in the retention requirements and some other specific requirements that we'll be working with the city engineer to finalize, that will all come back in the form of a plan. At that point, I can give you an accurate plan. Okay. And, and so if you missed it, what, what they're going to do is go back to planning and zoning or regarding the, the, whole, the whole 45 or 46 plus acres. 40, no, 45.63 acres. Uh, they're going back to planning and zoning to see if they can't knock out uh, a preliminary plan that, uh, or a more uh, pre preliminary uh, plat that they can agree on. Um, and then it will come back to council. That's, that's the general plan. Does that sound right, Bob? That's, yeah, Bob Hendricks from the Long and Long Commission. We had some talks with uh, these folks here this last week. Single family is something that we're pushing from it. I, I read on the radio with something that the neighbors would like to see single family. We're not really interested in a, a uh, uh, home uh, homeowner association. Um, We'd like to see comparable or nicer homes. And based on what I've seen, I actually went down and looked at one of their developments, and I've uh, also looked at the websites. These are very nice homes. Uh, they will certainly maintain and improve the value of the homes that they are here. So I feel good about that. Again, we're going to have the entire zone ready together with these folks and uh, work out. But right now, we're talking about a transition area from the system. Actually, right, so we're dealing with a with a uh, an owner and a developer and the planning and zoning commission right now. Right. So, and we're all of this is real early in the development. Is it your recommendation that even though this hasn't been filed? Finalized, there is no preliminary plan. Plan to these items be approved. Well, I, it sounds like that's not on the agenda, but I, but I certainly approve everything I've seen to this point where we're at this stage. Thank you. Are there any other questions, uh, comments by the from the public? I, I see no hand. Um, second call for comments or questions from the public. Throw hands once again. So third and last call. Questions or comments on this issue? I see no hands. Any, any, uh, anything from council? Any questions? Okay. Well, we'll move on then to items for consideration. And so we're on item number three now. And that item is consider and take any action necessary regarding approval of an ordinance of the City Council of the City of Van Alstine, Texas, annexing property into the city of Van Alstine, Texas, being described as 16.27 acre, uh, as a 16.27 acre tract, being described as part of the James Bikini Survey, abstract number 770, Grayson County, Texas, and being part of Raywood Heights, in addition to Grayson County, Texas, as recorded in volume 7, page 87, plat records, Grayson County, Texas, and being part of the tract of land described in the deed to Caratex LP 11 is reported in the uh, county clerk file number 2010-21778, real property records, Grayson County, Texas, generally located south of Spence Road, east of Sanford Circle, west of Greywood Drive, and north of Glassingham Avenue, extending the boundary limits of the city so as to include the described property and adopting a service plan. So as I said, this is pretty much the northwest corner of that 40, uh, 45.63 acres. Um, it was not a part of the, the city of um, Van Alstine, but now there's a request for annexation. Um, are there any questions or comments from council? No? Okay. Uh, is, uh, is there a motion? I'll make a motion. That we uh, approve an ordinance annexing this, pro this property into the city limits of Van Alstine. All right. We have a motion. So a second. I'll second. We have a second. All in favor? Okay. It is unanimous. Um, and so that 16.27 acres um, is annexed. Now, we had an item number four 
Um, I, I won't even read it because it concerns the whole property of 45.63, but they're still negotiating on that, that preliminary plan. So we're, we're going to bypass that. Um, well, yes, I think we do. Um, and so uh, what we need to do is postpone it, I think, for an indefinite period to make sure we get time to negotiate. Um, is, I'll make a motion that we postpone that in number four to the later date to the schedule. All right. Um, second, we have a second. All in favor? It, it is unanimous. Uh, so that is postponed. Be careful. Do you have a pledge and stuff? Pardon me? Did we not hear a pledge and prayer? And not a, we, uh, we don't want uh, a special. Uh, all right. All right. And so the uh, item number five. Consider and take any action necessary regarding the removal and or appointment of members for the Van Alstein Economic Development Corporation Board of Directors. And then Ms. Corwell, this is yours. Yeah, I'd like to make a motion that we remove um, uh, Mr. Bradley 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 So we are not going to provide any information. Don't need All right, I'm going to deny that motion. Now I can be overruled on that by a majority of the county or, or the, uh, of the uh, council. Uh, but at this point, I'm, I'm going to deny that motion. Uh, and does anyone make a motion for a vote on? It? I make a motion for a vote on her motion. Well, you can you can make a, a motion to overrule me. I'll make a motion to overrule. All right. Is there a second? No. Second. But yeah, I'd like to second. know from the attorney first, is the mayor allowed to overrule the motion and deny it? But I don't think he's denying the motion. I think he's declining to call a vote on the motion, which is a procedural issue. But the rest of the body does have the ability to do what you just did and overrule his procedural decision not to call the vote. All right, so we have a motion and a second to overrule my decision to, uh, to deny the motion. Um, is there any more discussion, any questions by council? All right, seeing no hands. Um, all in favor of uh, overruling my denial? All right, that's three. All, all against? All right, three to two. So I am overruled on that. Um, I notice uh, Mr. Usselton is not here tonight. Um, I don't know if everyone or anyone knew that he wasn't going to be present. Um, I still have a personal objection to this for a number of reasons. One is we don't uh, we don't have a foundation on, on taking a vote. We don't have any answering questions as to why we should do that. Well, I could. Uh, According to the EDC guidelines, vol the volunteers for the EDC board serve at will and can be appointed or renewed from the council and no uh, background or any reasons are required. It is at, at, at will position. Oh. Well, the council, of which I am a part, has a question for some people in the audience. Is uh, Tim McKelly? You sit on the board with Mr. Russellton? Uh, yes. All right. How long have you been doing that? I've uh, been on the board. I believe that Mr. Russellton has been on the board for uh, just about two years. So we've sat on the board together for about two years. All right. Do you know of any reason why he should be removed from the board? Um, directly? No, I don't. I believe that removal from the board. I know you stand completely with the council has the option to do that, um, but I would think you would remove someone for something illegal, immoral, or unethical that's occurred on the board, which I don't think has. Can I make a statement that if you keep proceeding down this line, you are forcing commentary that might not benefit Mr. Usselton, and maybe it's not really appropriate in a public forum to disclose why we might have issues with. Council can I don't ask, think that benefits him at all. Council can ask questions of persons that have relevant knowledge. You're forcing me to go and then ask opposing 
opinions about. But if you like, you can. Um, uh, Mr. Flynn, Patrick Flynn. Yes. Um, you serve on the uh, EDC. Um, and how long have you been doing that? Um, do you know of any reason that um, that uh, Randy Esselton should be removed from the board? I do not know of any reason. Do you think he's competent? I believe he's competent. Uh, has he been difficult for you to work with? He's not. All right. Um, uh, those are all the questions that I have at this time. Well, and then I'm not sure, was nobody listening? 
to the, the complaints we had to deal with at the last meeting? I mean, that's obviously has to be taken into consideration. I, I, don't I would have think that would be obvious to the audience, at least, and I'm, I still am not going to bring up particular issues with Mr. Robert Bassett. I, I, I don't have a recommendation from EDC, so I'm just. I want to allow them to do their due diligence prior to us making that decision. Would you prefer to have a committee of the remaining members of the EBC, other than all the members of the Senate, and us to get their recommendation? Can you do that with the motion on the table? Yeah. There is a motion. So, so, it, historically, you all have discussion amongst the council after a motion before a vote is called. The mayor obviously is not calling for the vote, um, like with what just happened earlier, not calling the vote is a procedural decision, so you could move that the vote be called to question, to overrule that procedural decision, and then move forward then based on the to move that the motion. That the motion be called. I move that the motion Second, we have a motion and a second. Any more discussion among council? I just would like to see CDC have a chance to have a discussion on this. Whatever decision they have, you know, that's great. They can make that decision and then we can take that recommendation. But I think they haven't even had a chance to handle it in house. So I wish they would have that opportunity to be able to handle it amongst themselves first. All right. So we have a motion and a second. Is there any more discussion? All right, then. Um, all in favor of uh, removing Randy Vesselton from the uh, Economic Development Corporation Board of Directors? Technically, you're voting on calling the motion. Oh, all right. And then you'll vote on the original motion. Okay, we're, we're voting on, on uh, calling for the vote for the motion. All right. Second, I'll be up to the motion in a second. Um, all in favor? So now you vote on Council Member Crowell's original motion. All right. Okay. Uh, we're ready to take a vote on. I'd like to make a statement too, then, as a council, as a member of the board. Then you're not ready. Okay. And you asked me if I wanted to allow it. Then. Well, you, you just made a motion to call the vote, which ends discussion. Sorry. All in favor of the removal of Randy Usselton from the Van Alstein Economic Development Corporation of Directors. All in favor? All right, all opposed? One. All right, so um, he is removed. Yeah. The next item. The next item is adjournment. I make a motion that we adjourn. I second it. All in favor? All right, unanimous. We are adjourned. The time is uh, 6.56.